Well, hello, people. And I was just kind of bouncing something around in my head here. and see what you think. A lot of femons don't seem to have anything like a, well, kind of like a real job, do they? Well, what do you mean by that? Well, it's just that I got a couple of friends that have sort of wives and girlfriends and they tell me their job and it just seems like <laughs> it's not a real job, is it? Like, uh, I don't know, like there's a femon that does nails. What, you mean like those metal nails you put in wood? No, no. Nails like those, they do femon's nails. They put false nails on, they glue them on and prune the other ones. I mean, that's her whole job. Is that a real job? She's sort of helping the femons look fake. Man, I mean, if she didn't turn in one day or two days or three days, would it be a disastrous? Well, yeah. There'd be some femons walking around with bad nails, wouldn't there? Yeah. Terrible. And there's another one that's a hairstylist for femons, of course. And that's her whole job, doing femons' hair. And let's not forget the ones that work in the makeup industry who put makeup on other femons. Well, yeah, but if they weren't around, there'd be a lot of scary femons around. Take a look around, buddy. There's a lot of scary femons around anyway. You seen their eyebrows lately? Yeah, well, they're maybe not overdoing that a little bit. And there's loads of other jobs that femons are in that you can't really say what they actually produce. I mean, it's not like, a, say, a builder, a carpenter or something who actually produces stuff every day. And not just for femons or males, produces it for everybody. And I was at this job one time for about, I don't know, three weeks. And there was a femon there in this museum. And she uh, walked around and I tried to define what she was actually doing all day. I mean, what was her job description? And what did she produce? And I, for the life of me, couldn't work it out. And yet she was still getting a wage. You don't see a lot of men in those type of jobs, do you? Wherever they are, they're actually producing something, doing something. Then I remember talking to this married man who was kind of old school and he didn't want his femon to work or his wife to work. Whoa, that's going back a bit, isn't it? But I just said to him, you know, what does your wife do all day at home then? Now, he's been married about 25 years by then. And he said to me, you know what? For the life of me, I don't know. So any of you guys out there notice that sort of thing about femons in the workforce? And if we removed these femons from that sort of area in the workforce, what would happen? Absolutely nothing. There, I think I've proved my point. Oh yeah? What the hell was that? For the life of me, I don't know. Take it easy, fellas. Yeah, bye guys. <laughs> hey.